Welcome to our overview of SAS Grid Computing, a flexible, centrally managed computing environment for high availability and faster processing. Over the next few minutes, we'll introduce you to the basic concepts of SAS Grid Manager and demonstrate how SAS applications function on a grid. We'll also cover how administrators can use Platform RTM for SAS to better manage the grid. SAS Grid Manager helps us reduce complexity and centrally administer SAS environments with sophisticated policy controls. We can accelerate applications, enable more complex analytics, and deliver more accurate results. SAS environments become highly available, ensuring reliable workflows. And we can deploy new applications easily on existing infrastructure and incrementally grow the environment as users and data grow. Said another way, we can save money, save time, and realize better results. SAS Grid Manager enables distributed enterprise scheduling, workload balancing, and effective parallelization of workloads for better throughput and performance. SAS Grid Manager provides seamless support for SAS products shown here. Some products benefit from distributed enterprise scheduling, ensuring the critical business workflows run quickly and reliably according to business priorities. Solutions like SAS Enterprise Guide take full advantage of SAS grids, automatically balancing workloads and selecting the best available compute host at runtime to complete an analysis. Other products like SAS Enterprise Miner explicitly take advantage of parallel computing, identifying parallelizable tasks for dramatic gains in performance. In fact, many SAS solutions that use these underlying components can benefit from SAS Grid Manager. Before we jump into the demonstration, let's look at the SAS Grid Computing Architecture. We'll reference this diagram through the demonstration. In the SAS Grid environment, any machine can be a client requesting scalable services from the grid. As we'll see, the SAS Management Console is used to manage the grid and grid-aware applications from within SAS. The components shown in blue are part of Platform Suite for SAS, software technology from Platform Computing that enables a seamless grid environment. In a grid environment, critical system services like the SAS Metadata Service are made highly available to ensure continuous operation. Platform RTM for SAS is a powerful web-based console that helps administrators monitor and configure the grid environment. SAS grids are flexible and easy to set up and work seamlessly with different types of host computers. Let's look at some of these components in action. We have a demonstration cluster in our lab comprised of 16 computers. First, we'll look at the SAS Management Console to see how we monitor our grid from within the SAS environment. We're already logged into the SAS Management Console. Grid Manager is a plug-in to the SAS Management Console. It allows SAS administrators visibility to hosts, queues, and activities on the grid. We can see available host computers by clicking on Host Information. We see the 16 machines in our cluster, including the type of host, the status, machine architecture, and the number of SAS jobs running. We have no activity on the cluster at present. We can also monitor queues where SAS jobs await scheduling to the shared grid. We'll see shortly that we can use these queues to express flexible business policies. To give our demo some realism, we'll show a sample home equity analysis. We'll use a workflow in SAS Enterprise Miner to value a set of residential mortgages with multiple analytic techniques to compare the results. I may be constrained by regulatory requirements or other business pressures that make it essential that this and similar workflows run daily in short time windows. Let's look at things from the perspective of a SAS Enterprise Miner user. This is the workflow that controls our comparative analysis. I'll zoom out for a better view. Triggering the final model comparison step will automatically run prior analysis steps on which this result depends. We'll go ahead and run this path in the workflow. And we'll confirm it's OK. Let's take a moment and watch as the workflow runs. As individual steps execute on various grid hosts, they'll be highlighted in green and the name of the host executing the step will be displayed in Enterprise Miner. SAS Grid Manager automatically executes these steps in parallel. Here we're running five steps at the same time. 
The grid also benefits multiple SaaS enterprise miner users by load balancing jobs on the grid, even if the individual jobs are sequential. The number of hosts allocated to us depends on various LSF policies, the priorities of our application, and the number of other users on the grid. While these jobs continue to run, let's return to SaaS Grid Manager. In the SaaS Management Console, we see our workflow steps executing in parallel, along with the hosts they're running on and their status. While our analysis runs, let's take a look at Platform RTM for SaaS, the main tool used by SaaS Grid administrators. From within Platform RTM for SaaS, administrators can see the health of a cluster at a glance and monitor hosts that are busy, idle, or experiencing problems. To inspect a host, we can place our mouse over the host icon. We can instantly see details like jobs, load information, and batch-related information. We can also assume console access to the host. Administrators can employ filters to find and access all the details of running or completed SaaS jobs by cluster, queue, user, or department. Let's drill down on this completed SaaS job by clicking on its job ID. We see all the details about this job, including when and where it ran, who submitted it, and what the result was. In addition to this job-related detail, we can look at various job graphs and host graphs. In Platform RTM for SaaS, we can show almost any information gathered and display it graphically. Let's look at the host graphs. We can use this information to find opportunities for improved efficiency. By understanding how SaaS applications use system resources at runtime, we can adjust scheduling policies to pack workloads more efficiently, enabling further cost reduction and productivity improvements. Let's return to our still running home equity simulation in Enterprise Miner. We're rejoining this job at the final step in the workflow sequence. Completed, so now we can view the results. As a SaaS user, I may not know that my application ran on a grid. I just know that it ran more quickly and more reliably. The ability to transparently gain dramatic performance advantages while also improving reliability and reducing cost are the key benefits of SaaS Grid Manager.